Hello again. So, for some of you that uh, just recently saw me put this together, this is the three times three or the uh, the tack weave that uses uh, nine balloons. Okay. Sometimes I don't want to use nine balloons in my tack weave. Sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, I want this section to be a little smaller. So what I do is I use four balloons. So I use four and then four again and so two wheels of four or you could call this the two by four tack weave. Uh, goes just like the three by three tack weave but we only have two wheels. So once again I'm going to soften my bottom wheel there. Okay, pick up the one that fell. Now we're going to make sure that our colors are, you know, so beside each other. And we will do approximately four or five inch loops there. Uh, over here, these ones were approximately seven inches, so these are smaller. Anyway, it does get confusing as to where to put your, uh, your colors and stuff, okay? So this is a little more complicated, at least at the beginning when you're trying to organize everything. So I've done twists over here and twisted here, and then I will twist those together, hoping not to explode anything. There we go. Okay. Then I will line up my, my colors close to the one underneath. Actually, as you get doing this quicker and quicker, that part takes less and less time. Now I will soften up wheel number two, and we'll want to make sure that we're putting these, uh, our one coming up will go to the left. I always put mine to the left. If you always go to the right, then always go to the right. Anyway, we're going to do approximately a 5 inch bubble. And holding that, about another 5 inch bubble. Just those two together. So when we've done that, we basically trapped one in between. Now we'll go to the other side. Once again, our squeeze squeeze approximately five inch bubble and then those ones are tied together. Hopefully you can see all of that with all four of them. Wrap them around, braid them, whatever you think is necessary. Now I'm going to, uh, let's see, get my colors. There. So now we're still, we've got our goldenrod, we've got our orange, we've got our teal, we've got our wild berry. Just keep squeezing. I like to do that. It, it, like you say, it makes it easier to, to do this part right here. Twist. And again, right here. Twist and then join those together there. And I'll do it one more round and then that'll probably be enough. If you can follow this part, you can definitely continue. Okay, so I've softened again. I'm just going to get this teal. I see it kind of in the wrong spot. Now the orange and goldenrod and the wild berry are good. So we're going to kind of trap the orange, twist. Now those will stick together, we'll do the other side, and then joining these there. The one nice thing about this is I find it's a little quicker. Uh, as you can see, I'll pick up my 3x3, three three. you can see the difference in length. Okay. I find that if you want to uh, change this into a shape like a circle, or I've seen some people make the tack weave into a large heart. This is easier to bend because you have smaller lengths. And um, anyway, I have made it with uh, three wheels and five balloons in each. You can use any combination that you like. So if you want to use three and two, go ahead. If you want to use uh, five and two, once again, go ahead. There's no reason you have to stick to three and three. Thank you.